Hear that sound? That is a nuclear submarine shooting a ballistic missile with nuclear warheads into space. Where the missile will casually look at the stars to recalibrate its path before re-entering the atmosphere and saying hello to Paris, Moscow, Berlin, or Washington. A single nuclear submarine, such as the U.S. Ohio class or Russian Bore class, can carry a firepower 24 times more than the total explosive power of all bombs dropped during World War II, including the two atomic bombs. In all of World War II, the world used about 5 megatons of TNT. Just a single Trident II missile carries 12 nuclear warheads, which is equivalent to 5 megatons of TNT now. Nuclear submarines carry 24 of these party poopers. The President of the United States cannot launch a nuclear strike by himself. There is no red button that President Biden or Trump could press. In reality, two high-ranking officers on board the submarine must turn their doomsday keys at the same time to launch a nuclear strike. The president can only order them to do so. The president is always accompanied by a peculiar-looking briefcase known as the nuclear football. The nuclear codes within this briefcase only serve to authenticate that it is truly the president giving the order to launch a nuclear strike. But these codes do not make the missiles fly. In certain extreme scenarios, the crew of a U.S. nuclear submarine can launch a strike without direct orders from the president. This is part of the second strike capability, designed to ensure a retaliatory response even if the country's leadership is wiped out. The crew doesn't really need the president to launch a nuclear strike. When submarines are not actively shooting nuclear missiles, they are usually engaged in some sort of shady espionage operation. One of the most famous examples of submarine espionage is Operation Ivy Bells, a joint mission by the U.S. Navy CIA and NSA during the Cold War. In this operation, the USS Halibut, a specially modified submarine, was used to tap into Soviet undersea communication cables in the Sea of Okhotsk. Divers from the submarine attached recording devices to the cables, allowing the U.S. to intercept Soviet communications for several years without detection. The Soviets remained unaware until a disgruntled NSA employee betrayed the operation for $35,000. In modern times, submarines may deploy remotely operated vehicles, ROVs, or unmanned underwater drones to approach and tap communication cables. Modern submarines can stay submerged underwater for up to four months or 120 days, with the main limiting factor being the amount of food they can carry. But wait, what about the air? Under normal conditions, the crew would need to surface every two days to replenish the submarine's oxygen supply. However, thanks to the enormous energy produced by the nuclear reactor, a submarine can take in seawater and split the H2O molecules into hydrogen and oxygen molecules. This oxygen is then released into the submarine's air system, so the crew has fresh air to breathe. The hydrogen gas, which is not needed, is safely expelled into the sea. Submarines receive very low-frequency VLF radio waves when submerged. VLF waves, which range from 3 to 30 kilohertz, can penetrate seawater to a depth of about 20 to 30 meters, allowing submarines to receive messages without surfacing. The bandwidth of VLF communication is quite narrow. This limits the amount of data that can be transmitted, so VLF is mainly used for sending short, critical messages. 700 words per minute is the most it can do. Typically, every message is reviewed by a communications officer to ensure that messages like your aunt just passed away or I am leaving you and taking the kids don't reach the crew members and hurt morale. In such a confined space and with no way to escape, the last thing a crew needs is a depressed, unstable person. To send and receive higher bandwidth messages like detailed mission plans, comprehensive data on enemy movements, 
or recorded video from surveillance systems, a submarine resurfaces, or sends a high bandwidth antenna near the surface, which is connected to the submarine below. We all know submarines are stealthy, and you've probably heard that engineers like to put sound-deadening rubber on everything so the enemy can't hear them. But did you know that submarines have become so quiet that, on the night of February 3rd, 2009, two submarines collided in the Atlantic Ocean due to their stealthiness? Le Triomphant of the French Navy and HMS Vanguard of the British Royal Navy thankfully sustained only minor damage, considering that both submarines carried nuclear weapons. Yes, nuclear weapons, that would have woken up the fish for sure. It goes to show that you could be diving somewhere in the ocean, and a nuclear submarine could be passing by just below you without you noticing. Modern submarines are designed to withstand the immense pressure experienced at significant depths underwater. The normal operational depth ranges from 300 to 600 meters. At this depth, the pressure is equivalent to a domestic donkey pressing down on every square inch of the submarine's hull. Sunlight only reaches depths of up to 200 meters. After that, it gets dark very quickly. Officially, crush depth begins at 800 meters, but unofficially, we don't really know. At this depth, the water is pitch black, and you may encounter fellas like these. Here, the submarine would crumple under the pressure equivalent to the weight of one dairy cow pressing down on every square meter of the hull. As of 2024, there are approximately 485 military submarines operated by 42 countries. These submarines can be broadly categorized into two main types, nuclear-powered submarines and diesel-electric submarines. Out of the approximately 485 military submarines worldwide, around 140 are nuclear-powered. Of these 140 nuclear-powered submarines, 41 are ballistic missile submarines, SSBNs, which carry nuclear weapons, and 99 are attack submarines, SSNs, equipped with conventional weapons. At this moment in time, only six nations possess submarines capable of carrying nuclear weapons. These are the United States, Russia, China, the United Kingdom, France, and India. Israel and North Korea are also rumored to be on that list but not officially. During a typical patrol, a submarine remains submerged for 50 to 80 days. The crew, consisting of around 70 people, lives in a space of about 90 square meters, which is roughly the size of a typical American classroom. Very cramped. It is not surprising then that romantic affairs will and do occur. The British Royal Navy lifted its ban on women in 2011. Since then, the most recent case has been that of two Royal Navy officers who in 2022 had a clandestine affair on the Vanguard-class nuclear submarine HMS Victorious. The pair leaked top-secret information about the departure time, as well as the direction, speed, and depth of travel via unsafe email communication channels between them. The messages, sent to Lieutenant Stone's Yahoo account, were part of a clandestine sexual relationship between the pair, despite Lieutenant Nicholas Stone being married with two children. Another headline of 2017 reads, Submariners in charge of UK nuclear missiles are fired over sex and drugs. Stuart Armstrong, captain of the HMS Vigilant, which carries Trident nuclear missiles, was relieved of his command for having an alleged sexual affair on board with a junior female officer. Nine of the Vanguard-class submarine sailors had been dishonorably discharged after failing drug tests. It was reported that levels of cocaine had been found in their bodies. It is reassuring to know that our nuclear weapons are in professional hands. The most common speed for modern military submarines is around 20 to 25 knots, 23 to 29 miles per hour, when submerged. This is roughly the speed of a galloping horse or a city bus traveling at a moderate pace. The fastest submarine currently in service is the Russian K-222, 
Papa class, which set the record for the fastest submarine in the world with a top speed of 44.7 knots, about 51 miles per hour. This record was achieved during sea trials in 1971, and no other submarine has surpassed this speed since. This is comparable to the speed of a cheetah running at full sprint. A conventional diesel attack submarine with no nuclear weapons measures about 70 meters in length, which is comparable to the length of a Boeing 747. Ballistic missile submarines carrying nuclear weapons measure roughly 150 meters in length. The Russians have the biggest submarine. The Typhoon-class submarine measures in at 175 meters in length and 23 meters in width, two and a half times the size of a Boeing 747, which even allows for commodities like a small pool and a sauna. What do you think is the most impressive fact about submarines? If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. You have been watching Blue Forest.